Who's got the coffee? I got the coffee. What's up guys? Welcome to another amazing video. Today I've been thinking, my shit's all fogged up now. <laughs> so I just got done watching a Peter McKinnon video, his latest video about flat lay photography and he was talking about motivation specifically. And it kind of inspired me to wanna shoot some photography today. And I wanted to bring you guys along and kind of show you guys my workflow on how I come up with ideas. I have an idea because I wanna shoot these glasses today. Is we're gonna come up with some different items around here that kind of correlate or could potentially go with these glasses. Come up with an idea. If these glasses are the main subject of the photo, what other props are gonna motivate these? In other terms, what actually goes with this? What makes sense with glasses? We're gonna go around my room, kind of um, do a little freeform vlog action here. So we're gonna come up with a location. We're gonna come up with props and then we're gonna actually show you guys how I shoot it and maybe edit it and then we're gonna post it so we're gonna see what this looks like on Instagram uh, and I'm probably gonna end up using my aperture light for this as well just to add a little bit more ambiance to the photo like I mentioned in my review of the aperture MC it's a great practical light and it's a great portable light so I feel like this is gonna come in handy really well for product photography as well just to add that little kicker ambient light in the background that I might need for a little bit of fill uh, let's just shoot cheers I'm not 100% sure which surface I want to use yet but let's look around for some props uh, over here we have my phone we could use some Apple ear pods maybe that might be kind of cool I obviously I'm gonna be using the aperture MC I might be able to use my little SSD over here, that might be kind of cool. Throw that in the pile. What else do we have here? We have camera bits, we have batteries. Uh, I don't know what we could use. I got a bunch of little knickknacks and flimmy bobbies and all sorts of stuff. But I feel like none of this makes that much sense. So that's the pile so far. I might even put the aperture bag in the shot as well. What does that look like if I throw like a shoe in here. I mean, that could potentially work. It's like a hipster vibe. So I'll show you guys how I lay everything out, um, where things go, my mindset on how I place the objects, and then we're gonna photograph it, and hopefully they look really cool. So this is the kind of stuff that gets me really excited about doing photography. The, the why, the what, the where, the why. Why do I do this? Where am I gonna put my stuff? Where am I gonna line everything up and be meticulous and it makes your brain actually work? I just realized I could probably use the coffee too for some of the shots. Might do that. Gotta move this bad boy out of the way. The issues with having a small room, I tell you. So now I gotta decide whether or not I wanna have soft light coming in or if I want harsh light. Right now it's kinda soft. I, I kinda want some harsh light. I think harsh light would be really cool. So let's open this up oh that looks really nice these kind of cool patterns here from the leaves outside we have this nice little diamond shape here and then we have an even harsher line going through here so i feel like having the objects around here would look really cool okay so we're just gonna start placing things in the shot right now and see kind of how things pop and i love i actually kind of love the harsh lighting right now because it's giving off these really harsh shadows of the glasses. My little aperture bag here. I have a Samsung SSD. You just chuck that in there maybe. That might look kind of interesting. And I want to keep everything kind of on this side because I'm really liking the shadows that are coming off right now. Might even put the shoe this way. Or maybe I can actually have it plugged into the phone. That might be cool as well. It's all about finding your place, where you like everything to go, where everything kind of can flow through. And it's kind of just a, a, a big guess, really. I mean, it's wherever you want to throw, it's wherever you want to put the items, really. I kind of want the zippers showing. Now, with the aperture light itself, we're already getting a lot of light, but I just want to get a little bit of spill light in a different color, potentially. So we might just turn this on and just have like some kind of, some kind of glow. I don't know if I want the actual light itself to be in the shot or if I want it to be out of the shot. Um, but we're gonna test a few different things and see what we like. So I like the blue color. We're gonna go with the blue. It kinda matches the shoe a little bit. And I might actually have the light in the shot. I'm thinking I might have the light in the shot. So I'm kinda liking this. I'm gonna take a couple photos and see what I like. 
um, see if it works, see if anything needs to be changed around. Uh, so let's take a couple test photos now. And I think for these shots as well, I'm gonna shoot at f2.8 and around 400th of a second. And we'll do some top down shots and we'll also do some side angles like this and just kind of see what we can get. Jumping in to Adobe Camera Raw here real quick. And uh, I'm gonna see what some of these photos look like. I think some of them, I think some of these photos turned out pretty good. And then obviously some of these could use a little bit of work. Let's just zoom in here, make sure we got focus. All the ones where we miss focus, I'm not even gonna worry about. North face might look good. My Sigma 35 one looks, yes, I love that. I love my Sigma 35 preset. It just, I, the names I pick for my presets are so dumb, but I, I love that already. Everything just kind of pops. I love to name a lot of my presets after coffees because I think that's just how it is. Okay, I'm going with my Sigma 35 as a start and then we're just gonna see where it goes from there. First things first, we have to crop for Instagram, four by five. I kind of want to go in. I want to keep the Samsung. I don't want to cut that out there. I think that looks kind of cool. That way we have the Aperture logo, we have the Vans logo, we have the Samsung logo, and we have the Thread Wallets logo. We have all the logos there for product shots. I usually warm them up quite a bit, but I feel like this image looks a little better on the cool side, especially because we have that blue light coming in, and then we have the warmth coming off from outside. I might up the exposure just a tad, maybe half a stop. Contrast looks good. We bring down the highlights even more. Part of me loves the brightness of it. We'll drop the highlights a little bit, but not, not too crazy. I wanna make this image really colorful and make it pop. I don't wanna to add too much color, but I do want the colors to pop. Bring up the luminance here. So I'm losing a little bit of detail down here on the thread wallet case. So we're gonna do a graduated filter and we're just gonna bring that up to around there. Reset the color temperature back to zero. And I'm just gonna bring the exposure down a little bit so we can bring back some more detail. I'm gonna add another adjustment brush over here just to brighten up the Vans logo a little bit more. So instead of going down on the exposure, we're gonna bring it up a little bit. Add a little bit of grain to the image. And then last but not least, I love to mess with the calibration. I'm probably not gonna mess with it any more than what my preset already has, but it kind of just messes with the colors a tad bit. And I don't want to mess with them too much because I want them to stay true to the colors of the products. That's the biggest thing with product photography is you don't want to manipulate the colors too much. You want to keep them on brand to what the product is. And what I'm actually going to do is go down here and I'm going to save my settings. And we're going to name this another coffee. I'm going to call this one Chai. I shot some more straight on shots as well. So something like this. I feel like these just look super dope. We're going to go straight to that preset that we just made. And we're going to put it on this one as well. So this is Chai. There we go. And it matches almost perfectly with the last. Oh, and I love, I, I didn't see this when I was shooting because sometimes you don't see everything when you're shooting. Sometimes you, you look after and you notice something's in the shot that you don't need to be in the shot or maybe something that you could have changed. But I didn't notice that when I had the aperture light pointed through here, it actually glowed a little line through the shoe and the aperture bag onto my white backdrop. And it kind of made it like a blue little line through there. I absolutely love that. That looks amazing. That looks so cool. I'm so proud of myself for doing this. Look at this. This looks amazing just straight out of the preset. I might add a little bit to the shadows or a little more to the shadow. You know what? No, 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 no. I want to, I'll bring back, I'll bring back on the shadows a little bit. I'm going to go into my parametrics really quick here to my highlights and I'm going to bring those down a little bit. Bring the lights up a tiny bit. Bring out the darks and we'll drop the shadows a little bit more just to even everything out. This looks amazing. I love this so much. That is so cool. Now here, I just noticed there's a little string that I forgot to take out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab ourselves our spot removal brush and we're just gonna paint over it just like that. 
and there we go. Bye bye. Another thing that I didn't do that you should do before, especially if you're doing glasses, is clean your lens beforehand because uh, my lenses are pretty dirty and smudgy. You can't really tell from far away, but if you look really close and pixel peep, you can tell. Like really messing with your angles and just seeing what works and what doesn't work uh, can really help you in your photography. Like this looks so cool. I love this. And the fact that the aperture light I'm, I'm using as a product in the shot as well, but I'm also using it to light the scene in a way and give it a little bit more color. I, I absolutely love that. I kind of don't want to four by five crop this, but we got to for Instagram. And that's another thing you need to be aware of when you're cropping for Instagram or when you're shooting, if you're shooting for Instagram and you're shooting vertically, you need to make sure because now I'm either going to be able to have the aperture logo in the shot or I'm going to have most of the aperture light in the shot. And I really like having the aperture light in the shot, but I might have to have a happy medium here just to center the glasses a little bit more. Yeah, that looks really nice. And look at that. We have thread wallets here. <laughs> it says bad wallets or ed, ed wallets. I love that though. This is just looks, I got to clean my, uh, my backdrops too. That's another thing. I'm going to get rid of this little speck though. Cause that little speck is annoying me. Another shot here from the side. I don't know if I'm going to like the way this looks. Not as much. It kind of just looks a little bit too busy for me. I don't like the way that the SSD and the bag just kind of, they're, they're touching here. If you look, they're touching the glasses. I don't like that. I like everything to be a little bit separated. But we'll see if I like any more of these shots. I tried to I tried to do some stuff uh, on the thread wallet case as well. I want to do some product shots of the case by itself as well. Let's see what this just looks like with the preset on it. It looks pretty cool. I missed focus a tiny bit here. Did I get focus on this one? No, I missed a little bit as well along those lines. I love it. It's just simple, simplistic. We're going to use a graduated filter on the case though. And I'm going to bring down the exposure just a little bit. I tend to not talk very much when I'm editing. I usually listen to some music and just jam out and edit. But since I'm doing a little bit of a uh, walkthrough for you guys, I'm sorry if I don't talk very much. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to try to. So just going through these photos, some of these I'm not really digging. So I'm just flying through them real quick. I'm just messing with a couple things. Now here's where I was trying to mess with the light a little bit and get this background really dark. And I think these turned out pretty cool actually. I don't know if my same preset's going to work. If we use chai. Ooh, this kind of looks very interesting. Bring down the highlights just a little bit. Bring out the shadows. Bring up the exposure just a little bit. Now, if I crop this four by five, what does it look like? I mean, that's a pretty, it's a pretty interesting shot. I don't know if that's the shot. I'm just going to scroll through these real quick. I got some pretty low shots as well. Like, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. I like that. That's really low down. And sometimes you need to be on that, that, that same level. Oh, it almost looks really dope as a black and white. Okay, let's go to our chai preset here. And let's maybe bring up the color temperature a little bit. Nah, I'm gonna bring that down. We're gonna keep it real blue. I wanna keep this I wanna keep this shot really moody, I think. If we bring down the clarity, it kinda gives it a nice little glow. We might do that. No, I wanna keep the clarity. I'm gonna keep the clarity there. I kind of like that a lot. That's really cool. That just looks really neat. I'm not sure what this is over here though. So we're gonna get rid of that. It's just something that's bothering me a little bit. We're gonna get rid of these two things as well. There we go. Just so that there's not any distractions in the background, but I really like this. It's really blue though. So we might come over here to our shadows. We might change up the shadows. 
kind of like the, the the oranges. The oranges actually look really good. I like what they're doing down here in the, on the bottom. So I might bring that up a little bit right about there. Also, this is where I also added in my camera. I added my A6400 over here just to add some kind of some kind of different vibe to to the whole image. Something like that. I kind of dig it. All dark and moody like that. Might go with more of a moody... A dark and moody shot on this one. Okay, so I'm kind of not liking the color cast here in the shadows in the bottom right. So we're going to bring down the aquas in terms of saturation. And as you can see, that cast kind of goes away. It brings a little bit of the saturation out of the shoe and out of the light itself, but if there's still enough blue there where it's not overpowering. So we're gonna bring that down and it kind of makes my backdrop actually the, the white that it is. I'm gonna bring up the exposure maybe a tad bit and add and drop the blacks down more. I really dig that. Make the whites a little bit brighter. There we go. That was a lot of fun. That was a ton of fun. I love creating different looks and different ideas and doing some product photography. I haven't done product photography in a few months, actually. At least two, three months. So it's been a while and it was a lot of fun to do. And I'm, I'm happy that I was able to come up with some really cool images. And I'm going to post them on Instagram. So if you want to see them, go follow me on Instagram at The Uneducated Traveler. But I'm going to show you guys on screen here now what we got. This is the final product. Um, and you go, you know, from, from before what it looked like. You know, it was just a ball, bunch of mess on the ground. And to turn it into something that looks really cool, you know, it's 50%. I would say it's like 40 to 50% the actual product that you're shooting and then it's another 40 to 50 percent editing to make it all come to life but one of the things that peter was mentioning in his video was the motivation behind what you're shooting you know does it make sense in the shot does it not make sense in the shot you know like if you're going to be shooting a military tactical uh i'll use the example that peter used uh, a, a pocket knife a tactical pocket knife why would you put like bubble gum or something random like that in the shot with the knife. It just doesn't make much sense at all. I got to mess around and create something new today, which is a lot of fun and something I usually don't get to do. So that was really cool. I gotta get off my knees because I'm an old person now. So I gotta clean up my desk now because it's pretty messy. So I hope you guys learned something today. You got inspired to go out and shoot your own flat lays, especially now that we're stuck inside, uh, you know, you, you have a lot of free time now. So get out there and shoot some stuff. Have a lot of fun. Honestly, I hope you guys enjoy the photos. And I hope you guys try something like this as well. Like, it shows that even though I'm in a small space and I don't really have a lot of room to do a lot of things. Oh, my light just died. Speaking of battery life on this uh, Aperture Light, it's around an hour and a half or so to two hours. And it takes around an hour and a half to charge. I forgot to tell you guys that in the... Uh, MC review video. Go out there, have fun, create, have a great time. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed what you saw, make sure to leave a like, smash like, bump, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.